Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you view Sonic XG2431 best settings. So if you're interested, let's start this tutorial. In this case, you might be wondering what is the best settings here that you use for your view Sonic. Well, the best setting that you can do or use for a view Sonic here is actually located on a very specific website here. So in this case, we'll be referring to the rtings.com website which in this case is a great website to view uh specific reviews or in this case some recommendations for your uh monitors or devices so in this case you want to go ahead and search for rtings of you sonic xg2431 now you should be able to see the review here but what we need to do is we need to search for a very specific keyword so just press ctrl f on your keyboard just type in icc Press and enter, and you should be able to see ICC profile, which in this case will be under the color accuracy or post calibration option or section here. Now, what we need to do is we, need, we just need to click on the download option, and from here we have our uh, profile. Let's go ahead and open up this folder. Now, since this is in my download, as you can see, this is the uh, ICM file. So, what do we do with this file here? So the thing that we need to do here is we need to apply this to a, spe a very specific setting. So in your desktop, you want to right click on it and you want to go ahead and click on display settings. Now in here, you want to go ahead and select the key of your actual monitor and you want to scroll down to the very bottom, click on advanced display settings. Now in here, what we need to do is we need to click on display adapter properties for display one or two, depending on your monitor. You want to go to color management and you want to click on color management. Now it should give you this pop up here. Now what we need to do, as you can see, it is disabled. So what you need to do is you want to click on use my settings for this device. Just click on add. And from here, what we need to do is we need to choose the appropriate options here. So in this case, you want to click on browse and you want to go to your download. So in my case, let's go to our libraries here. Let's go ahead and search for our downloads here. Let's go to quick access, go to downloads. And you see this is the ICM uh, file here. Go ahead and select that, click on add, and basically just add it into your profiles. Select it, and you want to go ahead and set that, set that as your default profile. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and close this one and cancel, close everything here. And from then on, you should be good. And that's about it. So. Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.